Hey you guys, it's Black Old Raven. Welcome back to my channel. Today while I was driving, I was thinking of all uh, my life and my dreams and my goals. And for some reason, what breeded in my head was an idea of explaining to you all the best way to do your pre-trip or like how I did it. And it is kind of related to my journey and why the pre-trip was so hard for me, but why I I made it so easy while I was able to get it done so quickly within the first week and, and be done with it and pass it on the first try when getting my CDL so I know I have a lot of people that follow me that are prospective drivers so I'm just trying to help you guys out so we'll just name this how to pass your pre trip and I'll give you guys some info some tips and some help and we'll do it while I'm driving since you guys love my driving blogs and let's get on All right, you guys, so let's get into the tea very, very quickly. So, I know that when in school, the biggest problem that people have and the biggest thing people are always asking me about second to backing is that pre-trip. Because the pre-trip is long and it's extensive and it's hard to remember. It's a lot of information. And when you're going to take your state test, you don't know which part of the truck they may give you. They may give you just the, the, the coupling. They may give you the whole truck front to back. Now you always have to do the inside of the truck, but I'm speaking about just naming the parts and what can't be broken, cracked, bent, or all that nonsense on the outside. So I'm about to drop some fire tips for you guys that'll really help you pass that pre-trip as soon as you can even for people that are difficult le learners like these tips are going to help you out immensely okay so first I kind of want to mention this um, to, to me personally doing the pre-trip if I can do that dang on pre-trip and, and pass it fast anybody can and let me explain why you guys I, I have never owned a car in my life I've driven plenty of cars and rentals and such but I've never owned a car in my life before or after I became a truck driver so I, I didn't even know the general parts uh, of a car a car engine and suspension and things like that no idea so not only am I learning the general engineering of, of a vehicle I'm also adding into the fact that it's a semi truck with additional parts as well so that's why I say if I can pass it quickly so can somebody else because I know a lot of you guys know the general about you know vehicle engineering and a lot of these parts in the truck and the well the tractor like the semi truck versus a regular car they're very similar under the engine type of front area is very similar so I was trying to learn that and, and catch up with that and still pass the pre-trip. So when you get to school and you're learning the pre-trip, the best thing you could do for yourself is ask the instructor, may I record you doing the full pre-trip from start to finish on the inside and the outside of the truck? May I record you from start to finish? And then watch that video a hundred times a day. Play the video in your sleep. Play the video while you're driving while you're eating like play the thing all damn day okay play it all day and then after that once you've gotten like a good idea of the parts or they should give you like a sheet that shows you what you should be remembering what i did and what i think would be very helpful is for you to write down in your own words still including the specific verbiage of what you have to say on the test what what the pre-trip is from start to finish so basically my school they gave us a sheet that said you need to say this can't be cracked bent or broken you need to say this must be blah 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 i can't really remember much of it word by word now and then i would put that sentence into my own words and you guys i created my own little word by word sheet from the pre-trip on start to finish of exactly what I was going to say word by word. And 
And when I tell you guys it was so great, the other people in the, the school were passing around and trying to get a copy of my sheet because it was just, just that good, which you're not really supposed to do. But I I, I was not playing, y'all. Y'all know from my other videos how I say when I was in school, I, 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 was, not, I was not there to play. And my nervousness also expedited my my learning because I'm like so nervous I'm like I gotta do good because people are already looking at me expecting me to do bad so I was not coming to play you guys I wrote it was maybe like four pages don't quote me exactly word by word when I tell you guys when I did that pre-trip I was able to recite what I wrote down word for word and let me tell you how I did it what I did was I made a friend while I was in school and every day we practice that pre-trip while we you know before we have to take the test to pass it and we went over the sheet i would recite the parts then he would recite the parts i would recite it he would recite it repeating the words and repeating the words and reading it and repeating and reading and repeating and yes it's redundant but i promise you'll be able to do that pre-trip like a pro and another thing you can do with that written version is you know, whatever friend or maybe an instructor or whoever you can, can get on your side there, have them read out word for word off of your paper and be pointing out the parts and you record them doing it that way from start to finish. So now you have a video to practice the study of the instructor doing it. And now you also have a video to practice and study of someone doing it in your own words from your own written version. And then when you put those two together and you watch it and listen to it all the time, all day, I mean, there's no way you can fail. There's no way you won't know that pre-trip like the back of your hand. And another thing you can do before you even get to the school and while you're in the school is access the DMV Genie app. I know you guys have heard me speak about this app before, but I, I'm not sponsored. I'm not all in it or getting paid for this. I just love the app. That app has helped me pass all of my tests, all of my endorsements that I have. And the DMV Genie app, which I'll put somewhere on the screen, probably over here. So it has several tests on there. It has all the basic tests you have to pass, general knowledge, air brake, combination, and whatever. And, and, and all, those, all those tests that you have to pass in general and all the endorsements and stuff, like doubles and triples. And then it'll also have a series of tests for the pre-trip. If you get that app and you get the, the full version, it'll give you all of those tests and it'll definitely help you start practicing before you even get to the school and kind of know the parts and also while you're in the school. And let me also say this, you kind of also have to know that if you don't know the parts of a semi truck at all when you're taking these tests you won't know what the heck you're talking about you'll be like the fifth wheel must be mounted correctly and this 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 and you know what to say but you won't know what the heck a fifth wheel is and you're going to be confused but i promise you once you get into school and then once you're out on the road as well you'll start to be like oh okay that's that part oh okay that's that part oh okay that's what that looks like so for now, don't worry about how you'll be confused about, I don't know what this is, but I know it can't be cracked, bent, or broken. <laughs> Just know what you have to say about it. And then when you get to the actual truck and the instructor points out to you, you know, what this is, you'll be able to put those two things together. And then a few more tips I can think of is don't always look at videos from different schools in different states or ask questions for somebody that's also doing their pre-trip that's at a different school or a different state because in general all the states will test you on the, the same information when it comes to that pre-trip but it does vary by what the school teaches you and what state you're in on how they will test you on naming the things because it has some variations some states go into detail about more parts or you have to have different wording depending upon where you are and what school you went to. So it, it's nice to kind of start watching videos before you even get to school to kind of get a general idea, but kind of also take it with a grain of salt because 
it's not going to be word for word the same or what you will be tested on in the state that you're in. And then the last thing I can think of, and if, because you guys know I'm driving, you know, cognitive skills are taking up a lot by when you are driving. So I may forget to mention some things because I'm trying to actively drive right now. But if I do, I'll just put that information in the description. If I'm like editing this video and I think, oh, I forgot to mention this or this will be helpful. Just look in the description for any additional information. It's very self-explanatory and kind of common sense, but go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. It's as simple as come see what time the first instructor or whoever opens the building gets there and ask them hey can I come in like 30 minutes early while you're opening just so I could peek at the truck and uh, try and practice my pre-trip while everybody is at lunch and chilling go out to the yard if they allow you to and practice your pre-trip again that way as well when everybody's trying to hurry up and rush home but you know that there's that person that closes and they stay a little bit after ask them hey can I stay at the yard for a little bit a few minutes afterwards so I can practice the pre-trip one more time now I personally did not have to do that but if I was struggling enough, I would have absolutely done that. Go the extra mile. Like the instructors, they are getting paid to get you in that school, get you past and get you out. So they are going to do what they can to help you pass. That's their, their whole job. That's the only reason they're there. So of course they will try to assist you as much as possible, especially if you're asking and they can see that you wanna learn and you want to do better. So go that extra mile let them know hey I, i'm not feeling that confident can i practice a little more here or a little more there and I, I don't see unless you're just out of crappy school i don't see any reason why they would be like no <laughs> they'd be like yeah of course come on let's practice it together make you some friends and you guys practice the pre-trip in a group you guys test each other and, and go in circles and name each different parts and things such as that it, it can never hurt to go the extra mile and do the the extra work but with that, you guys, that, that's how I passed. Basically, with most of those tips that I utilized, some of them were things that I realized would have been very helpful during, but I just kind of figured it out or just kind of understood later after I already passed it that they were helpful. And I'm sharing them with you all now. And I really, really think these tips will be very, very, very helpful. And with that, I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.